Guys, let me show you how you can import a character from Vroid Hub into Vroid Mobile. Now, if you don't know Vroid Hub is, it's actually a website that lets you publish the avatars that you've created in Vroid Mobile so other people can use it. And in turn, there are tons of pre-made characters available at Vroid Hub that you can take advantage of. But take note that you cannot edit those characters using Vroid Mobile. You can only import those characters on the scenes that we're gonna be looking into that's available on Vroid Mobile. So now let's click on the start button located on the lower corner of the screen. And here, it says that in order to use Vroid Mobile, you must read and agree to the terms of service, privacy, policy, and guidelines. Vroid Mobile requires all users be at least 13 years old in order to create an account. And we agree on that. And here, it's redirecting us to the Vroid Hub. So let's click on login and link. Continue using this account. So this is my account. I'm gonna log in using this. And then we click on the start again. Now inside the interface of Vroid Mobile, now let's check the Vroid Hub account associated with our Vroid mobile account. Now, click on the three horizontal lines located on the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Now here, click on settings and then click on account settings. And then it's going to redirect you to Vroid Hub and will show you the account associated with your Vroid mobile. So here, you can choose to add an icon, change a username, add a brief introduction, browsing restrictions. All right, and you can see additional details once you click on those three horizontal lines again located on the upper left-hand corner of the screen. All right, so here you can see your characters. So these are the characters that I've created. You can see your media or the photos that you've uploaded. So far, I have none. You can see your characters that you've liked here. I browsed several characters on Vroid Hub that are so adorable and cute and I've liked them so they are retained on my like pages and here we are going to import this character Iris into Vroid Mobile Anyway, I did make this video because one of my viewers have a difficult time importing this character Iris into Vroid Mobile. So yeah, we'll try to solve this problem here. But take note that you can only use Iris on the scenes given on Vroid Mobile. You can actually you cannot edit Iris using Vroid Mobile. Okay. All right, so once inside Vroid Hub, I tried to search for this Iris character avatar using the search box, but I wasn't able to pull her up successfully. But since I already have Iris here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the URL for Iris avatar and then I'm going to paste that in the description below so you guys will be able to find her. Now, once you go to Vroid Hub and actually are able to find 
Aries. So what you're going to do is to like the avatar. How you do that is by clicking on the heart symbol located just below the character on the right side of the screen. Now let's click on that. Now it is essential that you click on the like button because this way you'll be able to pull this up from the characters that you've liked. So let's go ahead and click on the three horizontal bars located on the upper left hand corner of the screen and then we're gonna choose characters you like and then you see here Iris is here together with uh, the other characters that I liked now let's go ahead and go back to Vroid mobile inside the interface of Vroid mobile we choose an avatar and then we click on that avatar and then on the lower right hand corner of the screen you'll see a symbol for camera click on that and then it will give you an option to shoot on destinations or sceneries here so let's go ahead and open one scenery all right so for this video let's let's choose the penthouse day all right, so we can either shoot, shoot alone or shoot together. You, you have those options. Buttons are located on the lower corner of the screen. So on the lower left-hand corner, there's an option to shoot alone. Let's click on that. And now it's downloading the 3D photo. So we're going to wait for this to download. Penthouse, and we have our avatar here, and we're going to pull up Eris from the Vroid hub and get her avatar here so click on the upper right hand corner of the screen you'll see a person sign a person or the upper part of a person with a plus sign click on that please and then on the bottom of the screen you have a pop-up there and there's an option here it says Vroid hub and also characters you like see when i click on the characters you like it pull it it shows up the lineup of characters that i liked on Vroid hub so let's go ahead and click on iris so usage conditions avatar use yes violence yes sexual acts no Commercial use by corporates, no. Commercial use by individuals, no. Alterations, yes. Redistribution, yes. Credits, optional. So click on the box that says I agree to use this model according to its usage conditions and click use this model. So now it's gonna load the model. All right, so we have Aries here. Click on Aries. It might take quite some time all right all right so iris is finally here we were able to load her avatar successfully from vroid hub so now we can navigate her her here on this virtual environment And here we can ch choose the poses for Iris. Click on the human symbol on the bottom of the screen next to the camera. Emotions. Oh, her facial expression is not changing. It's only her poses that, that's changing. Oh my gosh, her eyes are so gorgeous. All 
are let me just remind you that you can only pull up avatars from Bureauid Hub into this virtual environments, but you can't actually edit it using Bureauid Mobile, okay? Let's go into this room. Alright, and once inside the interface of Bureauid Mobile, we could just have fun and make our character do poses like this her nails are greenish that's so cute her facial expression is not changing Notice that she has, is that a tail? <laughs> Let's just explore poses here. Alright, and also let's go ahead and try to add several more characters here. Alright, let's click on that symbol again on the upper right hand corner of the screen. Characters you like. So it's only showing up four characters at a time. All right, we have another character here. So it's only showing up a maximum of four characters that we'd like from Bureauid Hub. Maybe it's the latest one that we have liked? Not sure. Let's see here the characters that we've liked. I guess for the purpose of this video, this wraps it up. So that's how you import characters from Bureauid Hub into Bureauid Mobile. Alright, so I, I hope you enjoy playing with this mobile application. And thank you so much for watching.